You will hear two parts for this section. You will hear each part twice. After each part, you will have a 10 second pause to do. Part 1. Listen to Anne asking her friend, about going to a shopping center. Choose the correct answer for each sentence. Anne, have you been to that new shopping center? The Forest Center? No, I mean Queen's, the new one near the river. Oh, I've seen the advertisement. It's got the largest cafe and bookshop in the country. It will have. Only the clothes shops are open this month. Well, that's OK. But it's at least 30 kilometres away and I haven't got a car. Well, there is a coach once a week. Is there? I can get that if it's not on Saturday. I have to work then. It goes on Tuesday. But it's best to get your ticket on Monday. Is the ticket expensive? £10.80 for adults. £2.50 for children and only £5.60 for students like you. Great! Now, listen to part one again. Anne, have you been to that new shopping centre? The Forest Centre? No, I mean Queen's, the new one near the river. Oh, I've seen the advertisement. It's got the largest cafe and bookshop in the country. It will have. Only the clothes shops are open this month. Well, that's OK. But it's at least 30 kilometres away and I haven't got a car. Well, there is a coach once a week. Is there? I can get that if it's not on Saturday. I have to work then. It goes on Tuesday. But it's best to get your ticket on Monday. Is the ticket expensive? £10.80 for adults. £2.50 for children and only £5.60 for students like you. Great! Part 2. You will hear a telephone conversation about a journey to New York. Listen and complete the form. Write no more than one word or numbers. Good morning, John Locke Travel Service. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to go to the United States, to New York. Certainly. Could I have your name, please, sir? Brearley. That's B-R-I-E-R-L-E-Y. Thank you. Now, when would you like to travel, Mr Brearley? I'd like to leave on the 9th of December. Can you do that? Certainly, sir. Will you drive your car to the airport or go by taxi? I'll take the train. Can you get me a ticket for that, too? Yes, of course, sir. Can you give me your credit card number? Now, listen to part two again. Good morning. John Locke Travel Service, can I help you? Yes. I'd like to go to the United States, to New York. Certainly. Could I have your name, please, sir? Brearley. That's B-R-I-E-R-L-E-Y. Thank you. Now, when would you like to travel, Mr Brearley? I'd like to leave on the 9th of December. Can you do that? Certainly, sir. Will you drive your car to the airport or go by taxi? I'll take the train. Can you get me a ticket for that, too? Yes, of course, sir. Can you give me your credit card number? That is the end of the listening section. There are two parts in this section. You will hear each part twice. After each part, you will have a 10 second pause to do. Part 1. Listen to a woman talking to a policeman. Choose the correct answer from A, B or C for each question. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. 
Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about nine thirty, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about ten o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before ten in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. Now, what's your number? It's o three six two. Now, listen to part one again. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about nine thirty, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about ten o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before ten in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. Now, what's your number? It's o three six two. Part two. Listen to the dialogue between Tom and Mandy's mother. Fill in each blank with one word or numbers. Hello. Oh, hello. Is that Mrs. Brown? Yes, speaking. Hello. This is Tom. Can I speak to Mandy, please? She isn't here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, please. I'm going to the cafe with Steve this afternoon. I wanted to invite Mandy. Okay. What time are you going to the cafe? At two o'clock. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks. Can you ask her to phone me on my mobile? Yes, of course. What's your number? O six five double eight four nine three two seven. That's o six five eight eight four nine three two seven. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. You're welcome, Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now listen to part two again. Hello. Oh, hello. Is that Mrs. Brown? Yes, speaking. Hello. This is Tom. Can I speak to Mandy, please? She isn't here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, please. I'm going to the cafe with Steve this afternoon. I wanted to invite Mandy. Okay. What time are you going to the cafe? At two o'clock. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks. Can you ask her to phone me on my mobile? Yes, of course. What's your number? O six five double eight four nine three two seven. That's O six five eight eight four nine three two seven. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. You're welcome, Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is the end of the listening section. Part one. Listen to Joe asking about a French language course. Choose the correct answer from A, B, or C for each question. Hello. I'd like some information about French courses, please. Certainly. 
Beginners' classes are on Wednesdays. I'm a beginner, and I'm going to France on holiday. Do French for tourists then? It'll be better than our business class. Great. I can only come in the evening. Fine. It starts at half past six. There's a break at quarter past seven. Is it a big class? Let me see. There are fourteen at the moment, so with you the class will be full. Okay. What about the course book? You'll get that in the first class. Bring a dictionary. That's always useful. Fine. Oh, how much is the course? It's a hundred and seventy pounds for people from outside the city. Oh, I do. Good. So let me just take your name. Now, listen to part one again. Hello, I'd like some information about French courses, please. Certainly. Beginners' classes are on Wednesdays. I'm a beginner, and I'm going to France on holiday. Do French for tourists then? It'll be better than our business class. Great. I can only come in the evening. Fine. It starts at half past six. There's a break at quarter past seven. Is it a big class? Let me see. There are fourteen at the moment, so with you the class will be full. Okay. What about the course book? You'll get that in the first class. Bring a dictionary. That's always useful. Fine. Oh, how much is the course? It's a hundred and seventy pounds for people from outside the city. Oh, I do. Good. So let me just take your name. Part two. You will hear a girl asking for information about going to Kendall by bus. Fill in each blank space with a time, a word, or number. Good morning, bus travel centre. Hello, I'm phoning about buses to Kendal. What time does the first bus leave? The first Kendal bus. That's six forty-five a.m. And how much is a ticket? It's eighteen pounds twenty-five for a single, and a return is twenty-six pounds. Okay, fine. Can you tell me where the bus station is? Yes, it's in Gately Street. That's G A T E L Y. I'm not sure where that is. It's in the city centre. Do you know the museum? It's next to that. Oh yes, I know. And can I get something to eat at the station? I'm afraid there isn't a cafe. But there is a small shop. You can get newspapers and drinks there. Oh, I'll bring some sandwiches then. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, listen to part two again. Good morning, bus travel centre. Hello, I'm phoning about buses to Kendal. What time does the first bus leave? The first Kendal bus. That's six forty-five a.m. And how much is a ticket? It's eighteen pounds twenty-five for a single, and a return is twenty-six pounds. Okay, fine. Can you tell me where the bus station is? Yes, it's in Gately Street. That's G A. T, E, L, Y. I'm not sure where that is. It's in the city centre. Do you know the museum? It's next to that. Oh yes, I know. And can I get something to eat at the station? I'm afraid there isn't a cafe, but there is a small shop. You can get newspapers and drinks there. Oh, I'll bring some sandwiches then. Thank you. Goodbye.
That is the end of the listening section. Stop working on this section, and do the other parts of the test. There are two parts in this section. You will hear each part twice. After each part, you will have a 10 second pause to do. Part 1. Listen to a girl, asking for information, about a coach trip to Edinburgh. Choose the correct answer from A, B or C for each sentence. Good morning. Can I book a coach trip to Edinburgh? Yes, there are two every day, morning and afternoon. Tomorrow morning, please. It's my free day. How much is it? It's £9 for adults, 5 for children and 7 for students. That's good. I'm at the university. Here's the money and my student card. Thanks. Here's your ticket. Where can I catch the coach? There's a stop at the library if you want to wait there. Good idea. I'll do that. What time does it leave? It leaves Bridge Street at quarter to nine and gets to you at five to nine. Is there time to see the castle in Edinburgh? Yes, we go there after the cathedral. Fine. How long is the trip? The journey there and back is about two and a quarter hours and you spend two hours in Edinburgh. You'll be back by lunchtime. Great. Now, listen to part one again. Good morning. Can I book a coach trip to Edinburgh? Yes, there are two every day, morning and afternoon. Tomorrow morning, please. It's my free day. How much is it? It's £9 for adults, 5 for children and 7 for students. That's good. I'm at the university. Here's the money and my student card. Thanks. Here's your ticket. Where can I catch the coach? There's a stop at the library if you want to wait there. Good idea. I'll do that. What time does it leave? It leaves Bridge Street at quarter to nine and gets to you at five to nine. Is there time to see the castle in Edinburgh? Yes, we go there after the cathedral. Fine. How long is the trip? The journey there and back is about two and a quarter hours and you spend two hours in Edinburgh. You'll be back by lunchtime. Great. Part 2. You will hear the manager of a shop, leaving a message for a customer. Fill in each blank with a word, a number or a name. Hello. Can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F O R S. T E R S. OK, I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size 38? We only had size 40 when she came into the shop last week. And she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green. That's good news. Yes, and there's even more good news. Now they're £65. Well, she'll be really pleased. She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid. OK, I'll tell her. Now, listen to part one again. Hello, can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F-O-R-S-T-E-R-S. -E OK, I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size 38? We only had size 40 when she came into the shop last week. And she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green. That's good news. 
yes, and there's even more good news. Now they're sixty-five pounds. Well, she'll be really pleased. She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid. Okay, I'll tell her. That is the end of the listening section. Stop working on this section and do the other parts of the test. Thank you.